In 2015, there were 255 billion iOS and Android app downloads worldwide, propelling the number of professional developers to 19 million just two years later. The bulk of these apps are designed for mobile usage, and the most popular ones are for social networking. So it's no surprise that some of the most well-known names in app creation are basically children. Some of these developers have become so successful, in fact, that they managed to make their first million even before they hit the legal drinking age. Nick is an English computer programmer and online entrepreneur who was born in November 1995. In March 2011, Nick released Trimit, an iOS application that employed an analytical method to condense text content into 1,000, 500, or 140 character summary text. This application piqued Apple's interest, and it was later highlighted as a noteworthy new application on the App Store. The huge potential of Trimit then attracted the attention of a billionaire who provided Nick with $300,000 in venture capital funding. Using the feedback that Nick had got from Trimit, he completely revamped the application and in December 2011, relaunched it as Sumly. This achievement not only made him one of the youngest self-made millionaires ever, but also the world's youngest venture capital-backed entrepreneur. In 2011, he initially raised $200,000 in seed funding from the Hong Kong billionaire Sir Lee Ka Shing's Horizon Ventures for his app. Later in 2012, he went on to raise a good $1.23 million from various A-list celebrity investors like Rupert Murdoch, Ashton Kutcher, and Stephen Fry. The app was sold to Yahoo for $30 million in March 2013. The Wall Street Journal named him Innovator of the Year as well. Until October 2015, Nick oversaw the Yahoo News Digest operation, which debuted at the 2014 Consumer Electronics Show, and went on to win the 2014 Apple Design Award for Technological and Product Excellence at the Worldwide Developer Conference. In 2017, he launched Sphere Knowledge, which he later sold to Twitter for an undisclosed sum in October 2021. Robert Ney, at just the age of 14 years old, created the app Bubble Ball, a physics puzzle game. It was released on December 22, 2010, and in its first two weeks was downloaded 2 million times from Apple iTunes. On January 8, 2011, Corona Labs, formerly Anska Mobile, the company which makes the software development kit that Ney used, chose Bubble Ball as its app of the week, and it has since surpassed 16 million downloads. At one point, it displaced Angry Birds from its number one spot on the list of free games in Apple App Store. He is now the founder and the current active CEO of Ney Games, a company that produces mobile app games. Though Bubble Ball is still the main product of Ney Games, they have released other games like Bubble Ball Pro and Sight Words and Spelling Games. Brian Wong is a Canadian online entrepreneur who was born in 1991. Alongside his partners Courtney Gortine and Amadeus DeMarzi, Brian launched Keep in 2010, a mobile app rewards platform that allows organizations and brands to deliver real-world incentives for in-game achievements. Keep is available on over 1,100 apps and 75 million smartphones. On a monthly basis, it distributes 500 million minutes of achievement-based reward notices to clients via its network. Keep had raised more than $15 million in venture finance by mid-2012 from firms such as Hummer Winbold, Relay Ventures, Verizon Ventures, True Ventures, and Crosslink Finance. The app company has built strategic partnerships with more than 40 brands, including 1-800-Flowers, American Apparel, Amazon.com, comma, Carl's Jr., Best Buy, Disney, Pepsi, Victoria's Secret, Playboy, and Vitamin Waters. Keep has expanded beyond the games platform and into the fitness apps like Nexercise, Map My Run, Gym Pact, Lolo Fit, and many others. Today, Keep helps brands run more effective campaigns with mobile advertising people like 2010 saw Brian as the second youngest company leader to receive funding from a venture capital firm, the first spot taken by Nick D'Aloisio. He has spoken at various popular conferences like TEDx and SXSW. Then a real estate agent, Chad Moretta, was returning from a basketball game when an accident got him hospitalized and led him to come up with the idea of the Fingerprint Security Pro app. 
Chad was thinking about security when he observed the physicians at the hospital looking through his phone. During his spare time at the hospital, he began downloading apps to learn what drew people to them and why they were so popular. He then drew his concept on paper and forwarded it to a developer. His only abilities were in business and creativity, as he had no foundation in technology or development. Three months after coming up with the idea, he uploaded it to the App Store, and the first month of sales brought in $12,000, more than covering his initial investment. Two months after launching his own company, one of his apps averaged $30,000 per month cash flow. The income of the company later reached $120,000 in one month. In the next two years, he created and sold three app companies, which rank in millions. Chad credits all his success to having a game plan. In an interview with the World Health Organization, he says, 80% of business is the psychology of the business owner and 20% is the skill set. If you have psychology, you can get the skill set. Today, Chad heads up App Empire, whose products help people turn app ideas into businesses.